Danger Dolan. From pressing the wrong button to being distracted by nothing in particular, we count the 15 most stupid ways to die in video games. Number 15. Minecraft, digging straight down. The game straight out warns you against doing this in one of the tips in the loading screen, but you still went and did it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You've got full diamond armor, an enchanted diamond sword, and a whole bunch of cool stuff to protect you against anything you come across. Well, that is, apart from lava, which will destroy everything you earn on top of killing you. Well done. You just killed Steve. Number 14. Trying to use the same controls you used in the previous game you played. You went on a big binge, playing a long game with a bunch of intricacies that you learned through and through. Now you're done. You move on to the next game. It might even be the sequel to the game you played. But even if it's a sequel, things change from one game to another, and you keep instinctively pressing buttons that ultimately screw you over. This happened to me a lot when going from Dark Souls to Dark Souls 2. Pressing circle on long ladders has killed me more times than I would like to admit. Number 13. The Legend of Zelda attacking the chickens for the second time. It was funny the first time. You didn't really mind dying thanks to the comedic value of being slaughtered by a brood of chickens, and it's not like you really lost any progress from dying, right? And then you get curious. How many strikes does it take for a chicken to call its friends to destroy you? Turns out, it's one more than you thought, and you die again. This time it goes past the realm of entertaining and deep into the realm of embarrassment. Number 12. Attacking a much higher level enemy. Usually the level number being replaced by a skull and red glow around an enemy is a warning, a call for prudence. This time you treat it as an invitation for a challenging fight. To your credit, you actually last pretty long against the enemy, but your evasion skills are not perfect, and you take some big hits. And by big hits, I mean a slight graze that instantly sends you to the grave. Was it worth it? Not really. Maybe next time you should listen to the game's obvious warnings. Number 11. Using an AoE attack on yourself in a CRPG. So you used to MMOs in modern RPGs, but you've played them all, and you decide to go back to the classics. Or maybe you're playing one of the new games like Pillars of Eternity. A lot of the games in the genre will warn you about AoE attacks ability to harm you and your party, but out of instinct from playing so much WoW or whatever MMO you choose, you use it right on top of you when you get surrounded. Your death comes swiftly and you look at your monitor for a while and wonder why you were even born. Number 10. World of Warcraft standing in the fire. You've played a lot of heroics in order to gear up. In five mains, you could finish your rotation or finish off your proc before moving out of the glowing flames or poison. Sure, the healer might yell at you, but it's no big deal. Then comes raiding, and oh my god, there's fire everywhere. But whatever, right? Why would the pinnacle of endgame content be that much harder than what preceded it? Well, before you even get a chance to finish that thought, you're dead! And your raid leader is wondering how you made it past the character creation screen. Number 9. Walking into the side of a spike in a platformer. If you walk slowly enough into the side of a spike, there's no reason for it to kill you, right? I mean, in real life, you just bump into it. Maybe you feel a bit of a knob for a second, but no real harm done. Of course, in real life, there's no way to double jump or ground pound either. So maybe you should think twice before applying real life logic to video games. Number 8. Alt tabbing in the middle of an unpausable battle. You're playing a video game, you hear the noise that can only be associated with someone messaging you. You hit alt tab faster than Usain Bolt can run 50 meters and quickly type in your response. When you tab back, you find yourself waiting to respawn. I get it though, it's just plain rude to make someone wait for your response to not much you on Facebook. Number 7. Using explosives in close range. Panic gets a hold on all of us, especially when it's a boss enemy or a horde of mobs. Sometimes you just want to spray everything you've got in the hope that you'll kill before you're killed. But still, panic isn't exactly an excuse for being dumb. You can't really blame anyone but yourself for launching a rocket launcher on the chieftain two paces away from you. Even worse is when you throw a grenade at what you think is an enemy. Turns out to be a wall that returns you throw right back at you just in time to remove you from the game. Number 6. Hearthstone. Using life tap when you have less than 3 health. You're missing the card you need, so you press life tap in hope of drawing that legendary you spent all that dust on. All of a sudden, your hero explodes! 
What happened? Was it a secret? Nope. It was your dumb face not paying enough attention to your health, and you somehow forgot that life tap cost you two health points. Either way, you feel deflated because you realize you could have won if you just used the cards in your hand. Number five. Getting mixed up which character is yours. You're playing four player Super Smash Bros. and you and your friends all clicked random. Of course, randomness can sometimes surprise you and all four of you end up with Pikachu. Your friends have no problem with this but you. You are convinced that your party had Pikachu because that's what you always pick anyways. However, you just plain old Pikachu and chaos ensues. You don't feel that bad about your quick demise, but your friends poke fun at you for a week about how bad you are at the video games. Number four. Trying to use WASD to move when the chat window is open. Hey guys, the flag's unguarded. Can you send hell? Ah, player has been defeated. Chances are this has happened to you, but don't worry. It's happened to most of us. Just kidding. It's just you, and damn are you silly for not pressing enter. I mean, how hard is it to press your pinky down? Number three. Mass Effect 2, sleeping with Morinth. So you're playing a renegade run, so you're doing a lot of stuff against your intuition, because at heart you're a good person. So naturally you choose a life-stealing succubus over the lawful good character. Why wouldn't you? Oh wait, you can romance her. You get right for that just to get the PG sex scene. I mean, yeah, she kills people by having sex with them, but you're Shepard, goddamn chosen one who's already died once before. Well, you died again. Game over. No sex for you, just your life force drained through your genitals. Congratulations. Number two. Helldivers. Standing under a drop pod, you summoned yourself. You accidentally gunned down your allies with your machine gun. But no worries, you can bring them back quickly with the reinforcement command. You just better make sure you keep away from their drop zone though. Ah oh, crap, there's a bunch of bugs coming your way and they do not look happy. You move back to give yourself some more room and splat. Your allies land all over you and they're not too keen about your earlier accident. Guess you're gonna have to wait a while for this steam to cool off. Number one. Dying while you're teabagging or taunting. You just killed that bastard that teabagged you after blowing you up. Now for your revenge. Your teabag all over his face. Like it would take weeks of scrubbing and scarring to remove all of your ball smell from his pores. You get so into this action of sweet retribution, you didn't even notice the guy walk behind you and get an assassination. But hey, it was worth it, right? Wait, is he teabagging you now? Ah, oh, so you're gonna get revenge on him. That's it for this countdown. Never go!